Hi everyone, so today I want to show you this little box, which is like a cute fold over top box. Now this was actually a Pootles Papercraft one that I saw from quite a few years ago now. Um, but I just really liked it, it's really cute, it's really small. You could almost turn it into a backpack actually. Um, so it measures one and three quarters by an inch and then the height is three, three inches. Um, and obviously it narrows at the top, but I just think it's really sweet. So I've just used it and um, I've just made it using the 12 Days of Christmas first edition paper pad from um, DRK Crafts. Um, and I've just used the little linen texture tartan paper at the front there. Um, so you want, I would say that's about a 200 GSM. I would say you'd need about a 200 GSM. What I like about this is you don't have to have mats and layers. You can just use a piece of, you know, pattern card. So I thought that was quite cool. Um, and then what I've done is underneath here, I've just put a little Velcro dot just to secure it. And then you've got space obviously in there to put your little treats. I reckon you could fit easily fit a Tic Tac box in here. Um, obviously, you know, just little like little chocolates. You could fit heroes or roses, things like that. Um, jewelry be quite nice for jewelry i would imagine because it's not that big um so yeah so let's get into it so you're gonna need a piece of card that is six by six i'm actually going to score on the other side so you can hopefully see where i'm scoring so you want to score at one inch at two and three quarters at three and three quarters and at five and a half Okay, and then you want to turn it round and you're going to score at one inch, at four inches, and at four and a half. Okay, so you should end up with that. Now, mine's the opposite way around to my diagram, so I would want it that way around, but just so you can see it, I'm going to continue with it this way around. So, we want to get rid of this little rectangle and that little square. We also want to get of this, get rid of this little rectangle here, and then we want to get rid of all these six here. So this big one, this one, this one, this little one, this little one, and this little one. Okay, so we're going to get rid of all of those boxes. So I'm just going to cut them out using scissors. In fact, not those scissors because they need de-sticking. And I should get rid of them. I'll just use these ones. I wanted slightly bigger scissors, but I don't know where they've gone. So we will continue with these. So on the bottom here, I'm just gonna I'm gonna notch it slightly, not much, just a fraction. And then same here, I'm gonna notch that slightly, just a fraction. So that's that one gone. And then again here, just notch it slightly. This one I'm gonna come straight down, just straight down the top there, like that. And then same with this, straight down. And then we want to go straight across here. And I would cut either on that score line or just slightly, so you're kind of cutting it off. As you can see, my cutting isn't that straight when I'm using these scissors, but it'll do. It will do. So that is what you're left with. And obviously, if you've got it the other way around, then that's fine. Just flip it in your head. Then what we want to do is up the bottom here, we're just going to cut up and we are going to just notch ever so slightly. Just at the bottom here. All the way along. Um, you don't have to notch too much. It's really just so they don't bump into each other when you start to fold them up. So I'm just going to go along and notch these out. Like that. And the last cut at the end there, there we go. And then we just need to go ahead and fold along all of our score lines. Now for this box, if you want to, you can use a mag magnetic closure. You could probably use a ribbon closure or you could use Velcro dots. I'm gonna be using Velcro dots um, because I've got some and I don't use them very often. I just thought, why not? And also, if you use Velcro dots, then if you needed to give it to a child or if there's a child around, you know, to whoever you give it to, it's not such a problem. Whereas with the magnet, it's a bit more, it's a bit more tricky. So, yeah. So there we go. So there's our little um, template. 
So if we turn it over, we're going to put some red tape on here. And before we stick it all together, I just want to round the corners here because it does look better if it's got a little rounded edge. So I'm just going to stick it in my corner rounder and just round off my corners. Now I'm having to bend this up because obviously it's a bit too, you know, it's not quite long enough to fit in properly. But it just finishes it off if you just round your edges. And then what we're going to do is we are going to take a pin or whatever you've got poker tool, take the backing off the tape here. If you want to as well, you can go ahead. In fact, you should probably do it now. Let's do it now. We're going to put some tape on the inside of these as well. So I'm just going to put the tape here and on here. In fact, you could just do it on one. Let's just do it on one. You could do it on two if you want, but I reckon we'll probably be right just, with just one. So I'm just going to put this on. Okay, so once we've done that, let's just turn this back over again. Take off our backing tape. And then you can either fold it flat and fold that over, or if you want, you can just do it mid-air. I'm going to do it mid-air because when I did it on the other one, I ended up with a little bit of overlap, which I didn't really want to have. Whereas at least if I'm doing it mid-air, I know it's definitely going to, you know, meet at the right place. And you don't need it to fold flat, so that's why we normally do that. So then if we turn it over, this is the front. And you're just going to push these side bits in. Just make sure your tab's stuck down properly. Just going to push those side bits in a little bit. Not much, just a little bit, just so they've got a little bit of give. And then we just need to go ahead at the bottom here. So we're going to fold these two side pieces in and then we need to fold that one down and then fold that one down obviously if you want it you should probably do it the way around you should probably do it with the um that way around like that because you have a neater edge there but anyway i've gone and put my tape there now so we're just going to go ahead with that so take the backing off fold those two down fold that one down and then fold that on top trying to make sure it's as square as it can be and then we're going to take a ruler going to put it inside and give it a a good pat down so it's stuck obviously your two little flaps on the inside are popping up because i haven't you know stuck them down and then we just need to go ahead and get some velcro so i've got these little dots these are quite small and this is about the size you want so these are about a centimeter across and they're just really cute so i'm just going to take one of each obviously the the hook and the loop and then we're just going to place this nice and centrally on the inside of the flap like that and then what i'm going to do is i'm going to put this one attached to it like that and then we're going to close it up so when you close it you push these sides in a little bit but just till it meets that crease and as soon as it meets that fold line then you're okay and if you just hold it on the edges here to make sure it's definitely central one bit's not popping out and then you can kind of stick that down and then when you pull them apart just be careful it doesn't come off oh like that <laughs> there we go perfect example of what you shouldn't do because it won't have stuck down properly because you haven't had a chance to properly push it into place so this is why you have to do it kind of gently so i'm just gonna oh, try and stick it as much as i can and then uh, pull it off and then you can give it a good press down and get it really properly stuck so now that shouldn't be a problem. So then I'm just going to go ahead and put a decoration on the front. Okay, so I've got these little poncettias, which I've had for ages, and I think they were Dovecraft from quite a few years ago. So I'm just going to go ahead and put a bit of red tape on the back of here. You could use wet glue if you want to. I just thought I'd use red tape because I know it's stuck then. I haven't got to worry about moving it accidentally. And then we're going to take our little poncettia. Let's just... Um, Let's just close this up there we go and then take our poncettia and stick it into position and there you have a very cute little treat box as you can see on this one i didn't quite stick it into position properly but how cute is that they're so sweet and they're so easy to make i like the fact they're eight um, six by six and i'm going to try and work out a slightly larger version so i'm going to try and work out a version using an eight by eight and a version using a 12 by 12 because I just think they're really sweet. They're really nice. This is a cute size, I have to say. They'd be great for table favours as well, so you don't just have to use them for Christmas. I feel like 
if you had a wedding these would be great for wedding table favors and they're so easy to make you could literally you know whack them out um as i said if you don't want to use um a magnetic um thing or a velcro dot you could always use a bit of ribbon um just obviously make your two little holes in the base and then come through the lid and then yeah tie a little bow on the front so yeah super cute so i hope you enjoyed today nice quick one because we're getting nearer to christmas and i know everyone's time is short so i thought i'd show you a nice quick make that you can quickly rustle up um in time for christmas so i hope you have a good day please don't forget to like subscribe hit the notification bell so you never miss a video leave a comment down below and i'll see you next time